It's December 19th, 2010. And no, surprisingly, we're not going to talk about the historic comeback by the Eagles. And not even Tim Tebow's first start. Instead, we're going to take a look at this guy, number 45. Yes, we all know he's a fullback. But at this point in the NFL, he's a trailblazer. This is Marcel Reese, the most underutilized weapon in the history of the NFL. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. And today, I introduce to you guys a brand new series we got called MJC Forgettables. It's where we take a look back at history and try to find some players that were just simply forgotten about or was just underutilized or maybe they just played in the wrong era. Wrong place, wrong time. Luckily, this series is going to uncover those players. And today, we start with Marcel Reese. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below. Let's get into the video. All right, back to the play that started off this video. This is a basic spider wide banana play. The fullback leaks out and goes to the flat. And usually it only goes for a few yards before the guy gets tackled. But Marcel Reese isn't your typical fullback. Reese is gonna get this ball and show off his 4-3 speed. He's gonna juke this Broncos DB out of his shoes and then he's gone. Look at the other defenders. They don't even close the gap on him. Let's do a little background check on Marcel Reese. Well, first of all, he played wide receiver at Hesperia High School, but with no college offers, he had to go to Juco. He ended up going to El Camino College. Reese dominated Juco, where he eventually got a scholarship to the University of Washington, where he played wide receiver for two seasons. Even with him having some good senior stats and honestly a great pro day by the numbers, Reese unfortunately went undrafted in the 2008 draft. Coming out, he was 6'1", 231 pounds, ran a 4'3", 40, and a 36 and a half inch vert. When the draft ended, Reese signed with the Miami Dolphins, but he didn't make their team. Shortly after, he got a call by the Raiders, who would sign him and start trying him out in different positions, until one fateful day, the legendary Al Davis would say to Reese, you're gonna be my new fullback. Imagine your whole career you're playing wide receiver. And then the owner of the team points you out and says, no, we're not gonna put you at tight end. We're not gonna put you at receiver. You're gonna play fullback for me. How many receivers would even have the physical traits to make that switch? I mean, it's like learning a whole different language, learning how to line up in the backfield, take on a 250 pound linebacker, set the edge, and only getting a handful of touches in the game. Reese spent two years on the practice squad learning his new position, and he finally became the starter in 2010. Let's take a look on how the Raiders used Marcel Reese in 2010. This is my favorite play. It's against the Seattle Seahawks. It's fourth and one, and the Raiders have some real big balls and are going for it. They come out in a power run formation, except they do something weird. They motion out the fullback out wide, and have him line up as a receiver. Who is it? Marcel Reese. They let Reese cook the defensive back and Jason Campbell delivers one of his best balls as a Raider. And Marcel Reese scores a touchdown. Man, this is one of the few times that the Raiders ever showed creativity with Marcel Reese. And we aren't even counting the times that he played running back because of injury, even though he torched the Jets. By the way, corners aren't supposed to get outran by fullbacks. When Marcel Reese played back in 2010, the game was just different offensively. Back in those days, Reese was viewed as a tweener. Too big to play wide receiver, but too small to play tight end. Tweeners don't exist anymore. Tweeners is no longer a bad thing, but something teams actively look for in the draft. Well, in 2010, the game was far from what it is today. There was no emphasis on player safety. The defenses can still be physical, and simply put, the game wasn't tailored for the offense. It also doesn't help that the team that you're on is literally a fucking dumpster fire. I mean, we're not going to get into all the head coaches that the Raiders had, or all the starting quarterbacks that the Raiders had. Either one, pick your poison. Reese was one of the four members of the 2010 Raiders that will still be on the team in 2015. And I mean, it's so tragic that he missed the 2016 run when the Raiders finally made it to the playoffs. 
There's no question that Marshall Reese possessed the skill and the athleticism to be an offensive weapon. But the question still remains, what if he wasn't on a bad team? What if he was on a team that actually utilized his skill set? What if Marcel Reese was playing in 2024? Would he have a different career? It doesn't matter if you're too small. It doesn't matter if you're a tweener like Marcel Reese. And guys like that are all around the league. And I think at the bare minimum, a guy to look at to compare what Marcel Reese could have been if he was utilized right is Delaney Walker. Marcel Reese at worst in 2010, if he had a good offensive minded coach, should have been like Delaney Walker. Walker had the same similar body type to him, athleticism, and also had a similar start to his career. He didn't get the ball much. He played fullback and tight end, but everything started to change when the 49ers got good. They hired Greg Roman. Roman used Walker in a lot of different ways and got exposure and got paid by the Titans. With the Titans, he blossomed. One guy had a creative coach who saw the raw talent and allowed him to blossom when the other one got stuck with bad coaches and unfortunately wasted away. I think Reese would have been every bit as good as Delaney Walker or better. And look, anybody that's a real Raider fan out there, they know how much Marcel Reese meant to the Raiders. He was always a captain every season, it seemed like. Marcel was a true leader, man. And he repped the Raider Nation like no other. And he continues to rep that shield till this day. It's just a shame that he had to play fullback. He had to be minimized to that. But what do you guys think about Marcel Reese? Go ahead and comment below on what your thoughts are. And if you guys like videos like this, podcasts, draft content, or just sports content in general, subscribe to the channel, bruh. Be out. Peace.